Okay, we'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. Agreed. But first, we need to get a handle on what exactly is happening out there. It changes by the hour. <laughs> Better than by the minute. Seems like a lot's happened around here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. A lot of blood magic during the war. What about now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Rook, ready to go? Nev, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. Couldn't sit still much longer. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. I think we can get in over here. Light, even worse than in the forest. Must keep it. You okay? 
What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Everyone has to stay. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here and everything will be fine. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us, the best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Is that an Aravel on the roof? The Blight must have lifted it up there. This Blight is weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead. Static. But this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Must keep looking. Why were they looking for veil jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? <sighs> Look, more people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. <laughs> That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Lara! Jahel! He's alive! 
Belara. We're, we're going to help you. We'll get you down to hell. No. Listen. The gods... The gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. In the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. That sounds close. Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. You betrayed your own town. No, I, I didn't. I was tricked. Manipulated. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gilanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. Right. We walked right through that new creation. A lot of dead people. Also, the gods could gain power from the Blight. I never meant for that, I swear! You must believe me! The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die! The Blight! Everywhere! What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook?
Leave him here. He can fend for himself. No! Wolves will get him in the night. Or, given the state of this place, something worse. The people of Demeta's Crossing were depending on him. The least he can do is stay with them now. A steep price to pay. And we're the ones to choose it? Somebody has to. You don't understand the power they have to show you what you crave. They speak to the darkness in your heart. No one can stand against that. Watch me. I won't be the last to surrender. I felt the evil. Let's go. No point arguing with a dead man. No. The fade had opened. And the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it.
Huh, a giant owl. Must be something to this. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgrenon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgrenon and Gilanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, well, he calls it the lighthouse. Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. 
I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Alluvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? We stand up against them one step at a time. We don't have all the answers, but we know what we need to do. You're fixing the Alluvian at the lighthouse, and Nev, Harding, and I are gonna find this dagger at the ritual site. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. You can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. Maybe you should have taken the shot. But we can't change it now. Yeah. I just have to live with it. Right? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well... We need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Look. There's magic lingering in the spot. Strong. Old. The dagger was here. Something took it. Darkspawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out.
magical device. Keep on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn for it. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking. Over there, our dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way.
probably another one. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. Another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. That's one. Now to find the other. Not alone. Tracking. 
Better hope it still has the dagger. Sure, but we should get back. We'll talk it through there. Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium.
You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It is a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange. But not in a bad way. I feel... Connected. To... To the... To the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But... But this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. As long as you're throwing rocks at the bad guys and not me. Don't give me a reason to then. No promises. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone, to the lost titans, and all of dwarven history with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good? Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solus. <laughs> 